Good morning to one and all. I am Shrubhana Singhgupta of BCA third year. Today I am going to speak on the topic of melanoma cancer detection. The project was entirely carried out under the guidance of Professor Subhashri Bhattacharjee, ma'am. Going to the next slide. The names of our co-team members are Anurag Chatterjee, Prishub Jaswal, I myself Shrubhana Singhgupta, and last but not the least, Indranil Pine. Moving on to the next slide. The contents of our project are introduction, scope of the project, ER diagram, steps for making the melanoma cancer detection, labeling, training, loss, then testing, then cost estimation analysis, and then conclusion. Moving on to the next slide. Now we are starting with the introductory slide. So our model, the melanoma cancer detector is a live detecting software which will capture the images of moles of the skin live through a webcam and will detect whether it's benign or malignant. Moving to the next slide. This slide states the scope of our project. First, it helps the patient sitting at home to detect whether the mole is cancerous or not. And next, it helps the patient to identify the mole cancer at a very early stage and if detected malignant then they can consult the doctor moving on to the next slide which shows the relationship between the entities and this diagram is called the entity relationship diagram the rectangular shape denotes the entity set and the rhombus like structure denotes the relationship set now in this er diagram the doctor is able to diagnose the mole with the help of the model live and the patient can also check whether the mole is benign or malignant sitting at home and this he can do with the help of our model and if the patient feels the need to approach the doctor then the doctor treats the patient with this i conclude my portion from here anurag chatterji my co team member will be continuing with the rest of the presentation thank you thank you shrobona i am anurag chatterji bc third year student and now i will be continuing with the rest of the slides so as you can see in this slide there are listed 10 important steps uh by following which we are able to accomplish and complete our entire melanoma cancer detection project so in the first step it is saying install tensorflow cpu now tensorflow comes into two steps or in two variants one is the tensorflow cpu and another one is the tensorflow gpu since our system does not support that high end computational speed so we have worked with tensorflow cpu variant so in the second step what we did is that we have created a directory named as tensorflow and in that directory we have stored all the files and folders and all the py files uh, that are going to be required to create our project and finally we have downloaded the anaconda in our system and created a virtual environment and named as tensorflow cpu so our whole project is going to be executed under that virtual environment only in the third step we have downloaded all the images that are going to be needed for our project and we have downloaded that from kaggle website and after downloading we have started labeling the images by downloading the label image software and after labeling each and every images we are downloading we have generated the xml annotations for each and every image which will be containing details about the image like its x and y coordinates x mean y mean etc finally after that we have converted the xml annotations to csv records and after converting that to csv records we have generated the tensorflow records for each of the csv records after generating the tensorflow records we have downloaded the our pre trained model which is the most important thing for our project to execute successfully that is the faster rcnn coco v2 2018 we have downloaded this pre trained model from the github repository after that we have created a label map in which we have 
um, set up the number of classes that we are going to detect in our project and what are the name of the classes and we have assigned each different IDs to that classes. Finally, we have uh, edited the config.pipeline file which comes with the pre-trained model itself and we have edited few things and after that we have started training our model. After the model successfully completes its training process, we have exported the inference graph and finally we have run our webcam.py file which have uh, like opened the webcam in our system and started detecting objects successfully. Now in this step we have labeled our downloaded image data set using the label image software firstly we are fetching each and every images stored in our directory tensorflow and then we are uh, marking place in each and every images that we are going to focus on and selecting that and after saving it. After that we have also created the XML annotations for each image. So the image is going to be stored in the 90 to 10 ratio in the train and test directory so the train folder contains 90 percent of the image of the whole image data set while the test image is containing 10 percent of the image of the whole image data set after doing this we are continuing to our next um, step that is the training so as i was saying that the image total image data set is broken down into 90 is to 10 ratio 90 is in the train directory and 10 is in the test directory finally we have done the path setting and we have uh, added some environmental variables and after that we have downloaded the pre-trained model and the pipeline.config file which comes with the pre-trained model only we have edited the config file like we have set up the batch steps the training steps that we are going to our limit to uh, the training process too and also we have selected the particular model which will be working in this entire project and finally after editing the changes in this pipeline file we have started the training process so this is the snapshot that has been taken while the training was going on so the training should continue until and unless the loss is below the 0 0.05 step so we have trained our uh, model uh, till 12,000 steps cause uh, reaching to that step the loss has decreased to 0 0.05 and it has been constantly uh, maintaining that particular uh, record. After completing the training model we are moving to the next step which will be explained by my co-partner Rishav Jaiswal. So moving forward to him. Thank you. I am Rishav Jaiswal and from now I will convey the slides. Loss. Loss function. Loss function is the algorithm to detect whether the model is training correctly or not. The loss rate of the model should be below 0.05 constantly to stop the training which will make the model more accurate to detect the object. Now we will show you the graph. In graph the training of the model we have stopped at uh, when the graph is between 0 and 0 0.2 and thus we can check whether our model is more accurate or not and then we will show to you the training and in training we can see how our model detects benign or malignant. We are doing our testing live in our computer's webcam and after showing the picture of a mole, the our model detects it is a benign mole with a 99% accuracy. That means our model is correct and then we are checking it with another mole that is malignant and it detects malignant with 93% accuracy which also means our model is accurate then we are going to a test case test case number one checking skin cancer without showing the image of moles what we expect shows nothing actual output is also it shows nothing 
and our second test case is after showing an image of a mole expected output detects benign or malignant depending on the type of the mole and actual output as you have seen in the images that it detects live benign or malignant depending on the type of the mole so thank you and from now my friend Indunil will convey the slides good morning thanks Rishav so now I so now so now I am continuing with the rest of the slides as we know a project feasibility is all depending upon the cost estimation of that project so that we done its cost est estimation through Kokomo model and as you can see that this is the slide of that and uh, as our project falls in the organic category of Kokomo model we have to determine its time to develop which is in TDEV of the software and the effort it needs to build up so here we can see that as we can as we know that here we can see that the effort is 18,372 person months it needs and time to develop is it requires 104.3 months to develop our project so I am going to the next slides so I now concluded the portion by saying that TensorFlow and Inception V2 model we implemented it on CPU to get a good accuracy implemented it on CPU to get a good accuracy bottleneck values on CPU as we achieved it technology makes it possible to identify and based on its analysis it can say and we can say that it is a benign or malignant cancer or not as we believe while we developing this project that surely it can assist and help doctors to fight against the mel melanoma skin cancer. So thank you.